Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover IC565 that is phase lock loop IC. So we are going to cover pin configuration of IC565, then its block diagram. Then we will see some important formula of lock range and capture range. Okay. And then we will solve the numerical based on it. So this video is going to be about only IC565. So if you want to understand what is phase lock loop in detail, then please watch my previous video. In that video, I have covered everything in detail. What is PLL? What is its block diagram? Then what is lock range and capture range? Okay. Here we are going to talk about only IC565. Okay. So let's start with pin configuration. So it is 14 pin IC. Four pins are not connected anywhere. They are AC. Then first pin is negative power supply. Okay. Then pin number two and three. Uh, these are inputs. These are input pins of phase comparator or you can call it phase detector. So we are going to provide input between these two pins. Okay. Then fourth pin is VCO output and fifth pin is phase comparator VCO input. So as you know, VCO is an integral part of PLL. Okay. So it will have VCO inside it and VCO will give you some output. So you are going to fade the same output to phase comparator again because it has to compare. Okay. So it is a loop. If you remember, it is a closed loop. So you are going to take output from pin number 4 and then you are going to send it to pin number 5. Okay. Then pin number 6 and 7 are output pins. Okay. So pin number 6 is your reference output and pin number 7 is demodulated output. So why it is called demodulated output? Generally we use PLL for FM demodulation, FST demodulation. So that's why they call it demodulated output. Okay. Then pin number 10 is positive power supply and pin number 8, 9 are your external resistor and capacitor for VCO. So to VCO, you connect some external capacitor and resistor which control its output frequency. Okay. So by changing this R and C, you can change the output frequency of VCO. Okay. So now we are going to see block diagram. Then you will understand all these pins clearly. Okay. So this black box is your IC565. So in generalized block diagram of PLL, you see three blocks phase detector, then LPF and then VCO. Now you are seeing something different over here. But trust me, the working, the operation is pretty same. Only the blocks are little rearranged here and there. Okay. So you must be not seeing the proper LPF block, but it is over here. So there is a fixed resistor inside this IC that is 3.6 kilo ohms resistor. And then one external capacitor we attach that is C2. So this resistor and capacitor make a low pass filter. Okay. So when you give input between these two pins, then phase detector compares it with this VCO input. Okay. Then it generates something at output. Then amplifier amplifies it. Okay. Now you have two frequency components, higher frequency component and lower frequency component. So your LPF as usual rejects the higher frequency component part. So after this filtering process, you get demodulated output at pin number six. Okay. And whatever you have got from amplifier, you keep it as a reference output on pin number six. Okay. And same demodulated output you give to this VCO. Okay. And two external components are connected. One is resistor and one is capacitor to this VCO. Okay. And then on pin number four, it will give you VCO output. So there is usually a switch between pin number five and four. Okay. So if you turn on that switch, whatever there is at pin number four, you will send it to pin number five. Okay. So this is like a loop. Phase detector is comparing, amplifier is amplifying, then you are again providing it to VCO, then the pin number 4 is again passing your output to phase detector again. So it is kind of loop, okay, this is a loop. So it is going to run in a loop till it's reached to lock stage. So these stages we have already studied, free running stage, then capture stage and then lock stage, okay. So the now pin configuration is pretty clear, okay, you can see where all the pins are connected and to which part. Now let's see some important equations. Now we know that there is some center frequency. Okay. That is F out. Okay. This is your center frequency or a free running frequency. You can call it. Then there is a capture range. Okay. And then there is some lock range. So this is your capture range and this is your lock range. So now we are going to see equations for F out center frequency. Then FC means capture range and FL lock range. Okay. So initially your VCO runs at center frequency that is nothing but free running frequency and which is given by 1.2 upon 4 R1 C1 and when R1 C1 are external resistor and capacitor connected to this VCO. Okay. So this is formula of center frequency F out then lock range. 
so by definition by concept you know the lock range so the input should fall between this lock range if you want the pll to remain in lock state okay so if it crosses this lock range then pll will unlock pll will come out of lock state so the equation for lock range is plus minus f out upon v where f out is nothing but free running frequency of vco and this v is positive power supply minus negative power supply okay then what is capture range now again by definition you know it so your input should fall between capture range for pla to acquire lock state okay and formula of capture range is fl upon 2 pi this is the fixed resistor we have connected as a lpf and this is cp okay so these r and c are connected over here okay so let's solve a numerical now so the question is referring to the circuit of figure determine f out fl and fc okay so in the question you have been provided this image this circuit okay so you just have to uh, extract the values of components like what is r1 12k write it down then what is c1 c1 is 0.01 microfarad write it down then we will need c2 also for capture range that is 10 microfarad so write it down so you need this two three components then what is power supply over here power supply was 10 volt and minus 10 volt okay so let's solve this so, so let's find out f out first so let's substitute r1 and c1 over here r1 was 12 kilo ohms and c1 was 0.01 microfarad so just put it in calculator and this answer will come out as 2.5 kilohertz okay then similarly in the equation of fl means lock range you have to substitute f out just we found out 2.5 kilohertz and v is nothing but positive power supply minus negative power supply so 10 minus minus 10 plus 20 so it will come in denominator so lock range is plus minus 1 kilohertz the last equation is fc capture range okay so fl is 1 kilohertz then this fixed resistor and c2 value of c2 was 10 microfarad okay so just put it in calculator and this will come out as 66.49 hertz okay so you have to draw this diagram first just write down f out f out was 2.5 kilohertz okay then lock range was 1 kilohertz plus minus 1 kilohertz so just add 1 kilohertz you will get 3.5k and subtract 1 kilohertz you will get 1.5k okay similarly for capture range just add the value and minus the value you will get capture range okay so in this way you have to draw this diagram so that's it we found out center frequency lock range and capture range for this circuit okay so that's all for this video we covered everything pin diagram lock diagram and some important formulas okay if you have liked this video press the like button share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you